The field medal is an award given to two, three, or four mathematicians every four years since 1936. It is often, as you can see, highlighted uh, the second to last sentence of the first paragraph. The field medal, ignoring the Abel Prize, because that's not really critical at this point, has often been described as the mathematician's Nobel Prize. Can everyone see that? I see it. I see it. I see it. Praise God for that. Scroll down below, as you can see, it also says again, the field medal has often been described as the Nobel Prize of Mathematics and for a long time was regarded as the most prestigious award in the field of mathematics. Can everyone see that uh, under the conditions of the award title? Yeah. Okay. If you scroll below that, you'll see the winners from 1936 up into the year 2005. Well, the, the last one awarded was 2002. You can see, you can see the names of the people, correct? Yeah, the writing's a little small. Let me enlarge it, I'm sorry. Can you see it now? Yeah, I see it better. Let's take a look at some of the names of the people who have won this award. So you can see the number of people that have been awarded the field medal. Can you all see that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I passed over, but if you had a chance, you can look back. You'll see how Atia won his award in 1966. So all these are part of that work listed at week 19, which are the field medalist lectures in the gas year 2005 celebration. Let's go back to that so you can see that again. This is the Gaussian 2000. Can everyone see the Gaussian 2005 celebration on this screen? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Okay, if you go to week 19, it has the work of a professor who is a successor to Sir Professor Isaac Newton in the form of Professor, Sir, I mean, Sir Professor Michael Tia. He is a field medalist, which means he has won an award, which is equivalent to Nobel Prize. And he's considered to be the last of the great mathematicians. This is extremely critical to understand in light of the God order in terms of where Gagat was placed on this list because Atia being a successor to Newton, who's considered to be the, one of the top three European mathematicians, Atia being a field medalist, meaning he's the one award, which is a Nobel Prize award equivalent in mathematics, and a list in the book that he has, which has 44 Nobel Prize award equivalent works, including his own in there, any one of those could have made that the number one work to honor Gauss. Gottingen ranked that work inferior to Gagat, placing it seven places below at week 19 as opposed to week 26, which is the center. So you have to understand Gagat has been understood and recognized by Gottingen as being superior to 44 Nobel Prizes or field medals. Can everyone see that? Yeah, I see it. Praise God. We go to week 23. We see two names there. The Alexei Viktorov Bozhinov is one, but the second name is perhaps the most critical to understand, which is Anatoly T. Fomenko. Anatoly T. Fomenko, you ask. Anatoly T. Fomenko, as you can see here from his Wikipedia page, and it's, can everyone see Anatoly T. Fomenko's Wikipedia page? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Anatoly T. Fomenko, or Timovich Fomenko, is a current day Russian mathematician, born in 1945, still alive today. He works in the Moscow State University system, the Russian Academy of Sciences. What's important to understand is Fermenko is a current day successor to Professor Leonard Euler. Euler is considered to be another mathematician like Newton and Gauss as the top three European mathematicians in the European society. He was born in 1707 and lived up until 1783. What's important to understand is Euler, as you can see, is considered to be one of the uh, most famous mathematicians of the 18th century. He's considered to be 
one of the great mathematicians along with Gauss and the top three European mathematicians along with Gauss and Newton. What's also important is that although Euler was a German Swiss mathematician, he spent most of his academic life in the Russian university system, the same university system which uh, a t uh, sorry, Fermenko is currently in today. So Fermenko, for all practical purposes, is a successor to Euler. Now, why that's critical is that being a successor to Euler, that could have been the reason why Gottingen could have placed his work as the number one, the work of uh, Fermenko, as being the number one work to honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss. However, as you can see from the celebration page here, which is on front of the screen, uh, Fermenko's work was ranked inferior to Gagat, placed three places below Gagat's listing. Can everyone see that? Can everyone see the listing of Fermenko's work at week 23 is three places Place below the Gagat's work, work and ranked inferior? Yeah, I see it. Praise God for that. So that's another thing that needs to be digested. And then week 24, NR24, and this is his name, David Hilbert, who's Professor Hilbert, you asked. Professor Hilbert is a professor from Gottingen University. Can you see uh, uh, Hilbert's Wikipedia page in front of him? Yeah. Hilbert is a German mathematician coming from Gottingen University. From He was born in 1862 and transformed on in 1943. Uh, so what's important to understand here is that Hilbert is considered to be the last of the great mathematicians. They say here he is recognized as one of the most influential and universal mathematicians of the 19th and early 20th centuries. Hilbert is also a successor to Gauss at Gottingen. Both of them not only were at Gottingen, but headed the mathematics department at Gottingen, although Hilbert obviously was a successor, came after Gauss. What's important to understand is they both headed the mathematics department at Gottingen. So what you have to understand here is that uh, Hilbert is a successor to Gauss. In addition, if you look at the right side of the screen, you see the doctoral students. You want to see the doctoral students of under Hilbert's picture? The doctoral yeah. students list on the right, the right side. side. You see yeah, the see. number of names of the people that are listed there. He has 69 PhDs under him in terms of students that got their PhDs under them and became stars in the field of mathematics. It's a very difficult thing for mathematics. You got fucking serious. Wow, guys. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. <laughs> it's all good. We we'll just hold on.
Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Hello. All right, John. We we got you. Did you hear what I just said? No, I yeah. did not hear what you just said. Let me go back over it. All right. Let me get the screen share on. Just one second. Can everyone see the picture in front of their screen of the Gauss year 2005 celebration? Yes, I see it. Yes. All right. Why is this Why important? Is this important? John, John, determined God let the, the number one work to honor Gauss because God John, excuse me, John. I don't see the picture. How about now? now. It's, gone now. it's gone now. How can it be? No. I don't see the well, picture. I see the Indian person picture. Now I see. No, that shouldn't be the case. You should be seeing an actual. How about now? How about now? No. Mike. Do you see anything on your screen at this time? Yep, now it's on. Now yeah, I see it now. I see it. God for that. The Gottingen year, so Gauss year 2005 celebration of Gottingen recognized Gagat as the number one work to honor Gauss because Gagat decoded in reality. Mathematics, the subject of mathematics is the study of theorems. Gagat from its own definition, God Almighty's grand unified theorem. All the words that are in that acronym are important, but the very last one is the most important, last two words are the most important, which is unified theorem. Understanding that, you now can see since Gagat contains all theorems, Sorry, Gagat determines from the actual subject of mathematics to being the, stu the study of theorems. And since Gagat from its definition contains all theorems, Gagat now is involved with proof that Gagat contains all of mathematics. This is how Gottingen was forced to recognize Gagat as the number one work to honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss. They selected a work from a black man, an African from Africa, with an African surname, as the number one work to honor Gauss because they recognized the work by Professor Yibo contains not just the work of Sir Professor Isaac, uh, sorry, Sir Professor uh, Michael Tia at Week 19 and the other field medalist. It not only contains the work of Fermenko at Week 23, it not only contains the work of Hilbert at Week 24, it also contains the works of you know, Sir Professor Isaac Newton, the works of Sir Professor, I'm sorry, uh, Professor Leonard Euler, uh, Professor Bernard Riemann, as well as Professor Carl Frederick Gauss, whom the celebration was dedicated towards in the first place. This is what forced the Germans, who before Gagat, they would never have respected a black person or had any respect for a black person, to even place a black person on this list in the first place. Now, in light of Gagat, it compelled them not only to put a black person on this list, but at the very top at the very highest point. That is how Jim Crow through Gottingen, which was the headquarters of white supremacy prior to Gaga, has now surrendered to the black people. And in effect, they have recognized the superiority of the black people by surrendering that baton of mathematical excellence from Gauss, who before Gaga was considered to be the greatest mathematician. Now they have given that baton to Professor Yibo and officially declared Professor Ebo as being the greatest mathematician of all time that can never be surpassed, past, 
present, and future, infallibly. That is due to the formula of G i j comma j equals zero, which contains all mathematics, all formulas from the past, present, and future. Any past mathematical work is reproducible out of G i j comma j equals zero. Any current day mathematics work in the year 2017 is reproducible out of the G i j comma j equals zero formula. And any future mathematics work is also reproducible from G i j comma j equals zero. You can fast forward to the year 2071. Someone claims to have come up with something new in mathematics then, it is still embedded and comes out of Gagat. Fast forward beyond that to the year 3070 AD. Someone claims to come up with something new in Gagat, I mean something new in mathematics, it is still reproducible out of Gagat. You can go as far as the year 10 billion AD. Anyone tries to claim they've come up with something new in mathematics, it is still reproducible and comes out of Gagat. That is what forced the Germans to now recognize the black people as being the superior people by them declaring Professor Yibo, a black man, an African, as being the greatest mathematician of all time that can never be surpassed. Past, present, and future. Can you all follow that? Yeah. Yes. Everyone follows that? Praise God. Yes. So you surrender from Jim Crow of your superiority. You as black people share the same genes as Professor Gio Yibo. So if Ger the Germans who were the headquarters and represented the headquarters and the supremacy of the European people are now bowing down to the black people through Professor Yibo, recognizing Professor Yibo is the greatest mathematician of all time that can never be surpassed, past, present, and future. If they can understand the value of the information in the guide of Gagat, black people should have no problems recognizing the value of what's inside Gagat. Can you all understand that? Yes. Yes. As powerful as Gottigan is, that would have been enough just on its own, but it didn't stop there. We have another surrender from another part of the world which has a very similar mindset, but slightly different characteristics. And I'm talking about India. Depo, can everyone see the page in front of them of the paper by Crescendo Desculpta? Professor Desculpta, can everyone, everyone see that? See that? Yeah, I see it. Gauge conditions for an abelian churn Simon system consist of stages of motion. I can see the professors that are listed in this paper, and in the papers from the Department of Physics, Jamia Millia Islamia in New Delhi, which is clearly in India, 110025, dated July 16, 2006. What's important to stand in here is the name Crescendo Desculpta. Desculpta is an Indian professor of mathematical physics from Jamia Millia Islamia. Jamia Millia Islamia is a top 20 school in India, which was founded and the funds were gathered by the king and funded by the king of Saudi Arabia. And this same university was instrumental in dealing with the uh, independence in terms of the Indian independence from the English in the late 1940s. So what's important to understand is this university is a major staple in the country of India. In addition, Dasgupta comes from a group of people who have won a great deal of Nobel Prizes in the search for the Grand Unified Theorem. Some of his countrymen had won Nobel Prizes like Chandrasekhar in 1983 won a Nobel Prize for what he did, what's known as the Chandrasekhar Limit. And later on, I mean earlier, you have Abdul Salam, another Indian, although the name's Arabic and uh, it sounds Islamic. He it was another Indian along with two European mathematical physicists, they won the Nobel Prize for what's known as the electromagnetic weak unification, the unifying of two of the major forces in Oh my God, again? Yes, yes. Hey, we shall all come. This is another, another. <laughs> Why don't you like me? We got what we need.
Yeah. What did I do to you? What did I do to you? Right. You know who's shutting us down. You can't shut intelligence down. You might try to postpone it a little bit, but you can't shut it down. Yeah. They always do. They always into that, you know. So, but anyway, I'm a, I'm I'm a hey, hey, uh, Charles. I'm uh. You did you when you when you first got the distiller uh, distiller this the distill purifier. Did you uh? Did you drink the first cycle? Yeah. Yeah. Now you you're not supposed to do that. It says do not drink the first cycle. What do you mean by first cycle? The first cycle that you pour into the bottle of the the the, the water bottle. The, the first, every every four hours, every four liters is one cycle. That's what I'm saying. The first cycle you're not supposed to to drink it, bro. Hey, where did you get your uh, distiller from? I got it from Amazon. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it from Amazon. And, and at first, they said we were going to send it to anybody in a month, like by the time he something like that. And it oh. just took, took, like, it took them like, like two weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I really yeah, like it. Because like, uh, 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 we have yeah, another. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's like an like alkaline, alkaline purifier. purifier. So. But, but we 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 just we're new to this distiller right here. Oh, okay. That, this is some that Charles introduced to, and I said, makes sense. So, so go right ahead and action. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I got one years ago, probably about 15, 20 years ago, from um. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've had one for a minute. My great, I raised my daughters on um. Distill water, basically. Uh, before I even knew about, uh, you know, how important it was, I just uh, this company called—I don't know if you ever heard of them called Hallelujah Acres. Mm, where, 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 where you located? Um, I'm located in Georgia. Oh, in Georgia? No, I'm, I've been I've been in Florida for a while. I've, I've, I've lived out there in Tennessee, but I haven't really gone out there over the years. But I've heard of it like a like a like a company or something. Oh, okay. Well, this this particular company, they sell like distillers, um, different kind of health products and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, know I'm, I'm going to be overseas and I'm going to be taking a few of them. And um, I might even buy some wholesale a whole batch like Amazon and do my thing with those just oh, okay mm -hmm. Cause, cause over the, 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 the quality, quality poor, uh, unless, unless the people live where, uh, um, the forest they have, they have access, access to the water, water. Mm -hmm. it's a big market Okay. Cool. So yeah, I'm in Florida, sunny Florida. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Florida sunny now, beautiful. Yeah, it really, really like look at. Like,